Hello and welcome to Community Conversations. I'm your host, KK Konishiro. We hear plenty about Fremont student successes in the classroom, but many are working hard to serve their community as well. In 2017, three Washington High School students created RISE, or also known as Respect, Inspire, Support, and Empower, with the goal of assisting victims of domestic violence to become financially independent. The trio has been busy, to say the least. <laughs> conducting workshops, teaching basic business skills, and partnering with organizations on some great events and fundraisers. Here to tell us more are the Washington High School students, Shreya Satish, right? Rishiki Singh, and Shrista Singh. So thank you so much for being here. This is so excited, and I'm so proud of you. And first question, I know you had, we're given a list, but I have to know, what grade are you? I'm in 11th grade. 11th grade. Yeah, we're all in 11th grade. All 11th grade. Yeah. 11th. When did you start this? So we actually started this the beginning of our sophomore year. So did you three know each other prior to this? Yeah, Were you friends? Really? Like we grew up together, all oh, of us. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. good. So when you all just, because you're friends and you're always hanging out, what triggered you guys into creating this organization? Did you see something? Did you hear about it? I mean, what was the trigger that you thought, okay, the three of us can do this. We need to do something. I think the trigger for all three of us that all three of us are really passionate about like advocating for women's rights and that's something that like all three of us have always had in common and um, we stumbled upon this issue because a common family friend of ours went through it and wow. okay. you know being such a big advocate for women's rights we decided that we should really take it take this issue and start to shed a light on it. Okay so we got together we're gonna do this what was your first step? Uh, well, our first step was we started um, talking to various people. We first started with Good. talking um, to a psychologist who wa Smart. works with domestic violence victims. Okay. Yeah, so we talked to her, worked some stuff out. She told us about like the confidentiality issues, and then after that, we started getting into contact with some organizations. Okay. Um, right now, we're partnered up with Move Up, which is like a nonprofit in Mountain View, and Asian Women's Home, which is also in San Jose. Uh, we also are in contact with. Um, Someone who works at Save, Naba Zaidi, mm -hmm. and she's helped us with um, various of our various events that we've held. Okay. Yeah, and like when we started, like we, when we thought about what we wanted to do with this organization, we knew that as high school students, there's only so much we could do. Right. So that's why we decided to focus more on the financial aspect of that, of it, because we knew we didn't have enough experience to help them through like the healing process and right. all that. Well, yeah. money helps. <laughs> yeah, that definitely helps. Okay, so for anyone who has never heard of RISE, what are RISE's goals? What do you want to accomplish so besides RISE, raising money? Yeah. <laughs> uh, RISE's main <coughs> goals are to uh, raise awareness for domestic violence within adults as well as teenagers because we found out that through research that a lot of teenagers are very naive about the issue. Yes. We're all getting into our first relationships mm -hmm. and one in three um, teenagers actually are in an abusive relationship without even knowing it. Um, whether it's mental That's abuse, scary. emotional, yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's scary because a lot of people think that domestic violence is oh uh, physical abuse, but right. it can also be your partner emotionally abusing you, um, blackmailing you, things like that. So that's one of our things we want to raise awareness. We also um, want to help create financial stability for women. So what we do at our workshops is we teach women how to make LinkedIn profiles, um, how oh, to nice. yeah, mm -hmm. how to speak at. Uh, speak at business interviews, um, how to dress at a business interview, okay. and we really want to push Resumes? them Resumes? Sorry? Resume? Yeah. Resume. Okay, yes, good. as well. Okay. Uh, we really just want to help them kickstart their careers. And like the main reason that's like why we do that is because we found out through research that a lot of women don't leave their abusers because they don't think that they could be fin financially stable, so they stay because they're like, who? how am I going to get money to like support, support themselves? themselves? Exactly, yeah. so. Let alone their kids. Yeah. If they have kids. Course. Okay. So, Besides what you just conveyed, is there anything else that the public is misunderstanding or it's misunderstood out in the general public that anything about domestic violence that you would like to clear up right now? Um, yeah, as I said before, um, domestic violence isn't just physical. Um, also, a lot of people believe that once you're out of a domestic violence situation, you're out of it for sure. But there's a lot of like mental impact that there is. Uh, a lot of women have like a really tough time recovering from being in a domestic violence um, or an abusive relationship, and we really want to help them like realize that there is a future ahead of them, and they don't they don't have to dwell on the past. Yeah, and a lot of people think that oh, once you're like 
like, oh, if you're in an abusive relationship, you should be able to figure it out, like, immediately. But, like, there's a lot that people don't know about what goes into abusive relationship. And if they leave, like, what happens to them financially and how they'll support themselves. Mm -hmm. And, like, how it will affect the people around them, too. Yeah. And, like, going back to that emotional point on hers, like, a lot of people think it's just physical, like, beating and, like, rape and things like that. But there's a lot of instances in which they, like, um, tell, which they, like, partners go and they tell their wives and they're like you can't do anything without me you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for me and that's definitely like very emotionally like traumatic yeah so have you been lucky enough to meet any um, victims that you've helped any success stories you want to tell us um we do have um we have helped like a lot of women and they've told us that like our resumes and the things that we've helped them with um, Good. have definitely helped them out so that's yeah. Makes you feel good, doesn't it? Yeah. Does, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I'm just not a high schooler anymore. <laughs> I'm doing something, right? Yeah. It's great yeah. to know that we've made an impact in someone's lives. Yeah. yeah. So you're 11 grade, 11th grade right now. <clears throat> I'm sure you're going to continue this in your 12th grade. Yes. What happens when you all three graduate? Oh, so we've actually discussed this. Yeah. All of us really want to continue this. Okay, good. Um, we're so passionate about what we do, and we feel like it shouldn't just be confined to our high school environment. Right. So we're hoping that within college, we find time to like figure out what we're going to do, like expand our organization, and yeah, yeah. And like we also want to have someone to like, because last year we also held our like domestic violence awareness week rally, and we want to continue at, the, at the high school. At yeah, the high school, nice. and we yeah. want people to continue holding that. So we want to have someone who's just as passionate about us on this topic continue to invite yeah. people and continue to hold yeah, these like rallies. Yeah, carry on the legacy at Washington. Yeah. Right. Cause we really... Oh, oh yeah, because Washington has a women's empowerment club. So we're really, oh, nice. Yeah, so we were hoping that, like, once we leave, there's, like, that entire club can maybe take on, like, our legacy almost and continue with, like, the Domestic Violence Awareness Week or things like that. That's great. Like, we never wanted to end just, like, once we leave. Yeah. yeah. Are you three going to the same college or nearby each other, or how's this going to work? Um, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, <we're> <laughs> <college>. <laughs> um, I just think that wherever we go, we want to just make an everlasting impact Good. wherever we are, Good. whether we're together or not. But mm -hmm. Because we all know that we're going to grow up together. Yeah. We want to be together forever. And however cheesy And there's always, exactly. yeah. there's always email. Exactly. There's always email. There's always email. Okay. Um, <clears throat> can you talk about, you know, you talked about resumes, LinkedIn, what other business skills are you, is out there that you are able to help these um, victims with? Them is like balancing checkbooks or what other kind of skills are you teaching them? Um, because we're in DECA, we all like are very good at like that public speaking aspect of it and like the business aspect of it. So we do some like communication workshops because like not good. not everyone's yeah good. not everyone's like great at communication and that those type of skills. So we do like help them with that. Well, if you've been abused, you're not allowed to speak. For so when you escape it, it's like now I have to speak and I don't know how to do that. That's awesome. So I think. <clears throat> One of the things that I encounter when I'm dealing with the general public is like when people escape a violent environment, they're okay. And they're not, especially if they've been through it for years or even two weeks. There's a lot of things that have to happen. So besides working with these other organizations, which I think is phenomenal, as high school students, was it scary to approach these other organizations for help? Yeah, there were a lot of unanswered like emails and voice yeah. calls, but after we after we found out like exactly what we wanted to do, we started becoming more adamant about like contacted Good. people. Persistence. Yeah. 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 And I feel like that helped us a lot and that's how we got yeah, into contact. I think like the first like a domestic violence awareness organization we got in contact with, it really helped us like build like a resume almost for yeah. other ones. Like they we had more credibility and yeah. we were able to contact other women. Yeah. So just mm -hmm. like that first step was really important for us. That's good. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> so for going back to your workshops, um, besides the victims who are suffering, is anyone else able to attend? Like if it's a young high schooler who's been in this horrible relationship, can their parents join so they also understand what's going on? Yeah, so we don't 
only do workshops for victims, we also do it for our high school students. Like we did them for um, the women's empowerment group at okay. Washington. Okay. We also did some like workshops with the DECA kids. Oh, that good. We have, the DECA good. kids, yeah. So um, there are kids from Irvington and Washington that we did workshops for. And in those, we t educate them about what domestic violence is, as well as telling them a couple of like the business skills and entrepreneurship skills that they may need in the future. Right. right. Who, who else besides Doc and the, and the Women's Empowerment Group at Washington High School, what other groups are you working with for your workshops? Are you including like Mission Valley ROP? Because I know they have an entrepreneurial type class or curriculum. I think that we hit like a lot of schools in terms of like rather than like like teaching them about like domestic violence we like overall just spread awareness about our organization okay. and about domestic violence because we like do a lot of marketing for domestic violence awareness week and domestic violence awareness day so that we're able to reach out to like not just Washington High School but we also reach out to like other schools which okay, is definitely good. good advice. I gotta ask what do your parents think of what you're doing? I think that they're kind of shocked. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> they're, like, they're kind of like, wow, our kids are grown up. They're yeah. tackling such yeah. like, a big issue. And yeah. I feel like they're all really proud of us. Mm -hmm. um, but they just didn't expect it when yeah. we started. I remember when I told my like parents that we were doing this, they were like, this is a big topic. So yeah, like whatever you go same. into, you make sure you're doing it like right yeah. and not doing anything wrong. But like now that they've seen what we've done, they're like so incredibly proud. And it's yeah. been, they just thought it was a school project. Holy yeah. cow, this is new year. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Now, you have a very special big event coming up this Saturday, although this will air after the event, but can you tell us more about what, if I was going, what can I expect to enjoy? So we're holding a Bollywood charity show um, called Izzat, and Izzat means respect in Hindi. Nice. So which is also part of our acronym RISE. Um, in this Bollywood show, we have about 16 uh, Bollywood dance teams from around the Bay Area coming to perform. Wow. Yeah, and so we're also inviting our partners, I think Asian Women's Home um, oh, good. and Move Up are uh -huh. two people that, organizations that are planning on attending. Um, where, like, it's just going to be a Bollywood show where everyone can watch and all of the proceeds go to the domestic violence shelters. And where will it be? It'll be in the Fremont Community Church on Mission Boulevard. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's a big space. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Yeah. Did they donate the space for you guys? Oh, no. We had to rent the venue out, but they, oh, they subsidized the cost a lot. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so they good. did. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> they helped out that's the cost. Wow, that's great. So, if I'm watching the show, and whether I know a friend or it's myself in a domestic awful issue environment, if I want to find out more information because I, I'm related, you're easy to relate to me because I'm a teenager, where would I find more information about you? Okay, so um, some ways, like, some the most easiest way that you guys can contact us would be, like, our email account, which is riseagainstdomesticviolence at yahoo.com. Okay. But we also have an Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter handle. Okay. So our Instagram handle is riseagainstviolence, and then our... Um, Facebook hand, Facebook and Twitter handle is Rise Against Domestic Violence. Okay, yeah. so whether I need help or I want to volunteer, mm -hmm. I go to the same. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So, how do you divvy up the jobs? Do you do one part and you do another part? Or you do, or do you all collaborate on every part of it? It's all it, collaboration, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. yeah. If we if we divided it, it would, there would be like a lot of communication is, issues. This way, yeah. we all know what's going on at the same time. Oh, that's so. smart. Yeah. yeah. That's very smart. Yeah. Have you guys thought about having some kind of board of directors to bounce ideas off or to get more support? Yeah. We've definitely thought about like expanding it like beyond just the three of us. Like we do get like our DECA chapter involved in some ways, like marketing and like having them being involved in like what we like talk about. But we've definitely thought about expanding it so like we could have more people like help us with like curriculum ideas or like what we talk about at workshops. So it's just not the three of us. Well, I also think adults who have businesses or belong to a corporation oh. with money. Just <laughs> saying. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, one of our yeah. um, biggest wow. helps have been um, Mrs. Burns, which is Yo, our business nice. teacher. Yeah, she's, she's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. She gave us the most support we could ever ask for, and yeah. I think that we're so she's thankful. Great. Yeah. She's yeah. Of course, yeah. amazing. I think that we owe, like, any success that Rise has is, is like, it's yeah. Mrs. Yeah. Burns. Yeah. yeah, Mrs. Burns. She yeah. Yeah. owe it all to her. Yeah. Because for our Domestic Violence Awareness Week at Washington, she was the one who was able to contact Miss Lily May, and that's oh, nice. why she was yeah. able to attend. So Miss Burns just had so many connections, and that's the reason, like, whereas, like, 
incredible as we are today. Yeah. yeah. And she yeah. like, even when we don't, when we go to our classroom, she's like, make sure she's to ask about what we're doing and like she she really cares about it and I feel like it helps it helped us so much in the long run. She always checks up on us. She's like what are you guys doing now? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Okay I have to ask you what are your secrets here because (laughs) you're in 11th grade you've got a lot of things going on socially (laughs) plus your school work do you guys make it a point okay every Monday we are meeting to do whatever do you have a schedule that you are or is it just whenever you have time? No so as we're best friends like this okay. us three we're like best friends so it's like we're we'll like be texting together <laughs> yeah we're always together either we're like together at school or we're together like texting it'll be like okay guys we need to plan this out or we need to plan this out and then it just like ends up working out it's nothing very Good. like official between the three Good. of us mm-hmm. because like we have like such a great bond I guess that mm-hmm. we like plan stuff like really quickly and then it happens that's awesome and yeah. like part of it is that we did a lot of it like over summer we mm-hmm. did a lot of like connecting and a lot of partnering over summer that's yeah. amazing you three are amazing congratulations and thank i wish you. you all the best and good luck this weekend thank you thank you so much thank, thank you, you so much. much for being on the show thank, thank you thank you for having us. us of course from everyone here at community conversations we appreciate you watching we'll see you next time thank you